How's it going guys? It is your deep here and it's time for episode number two of season two of Let's Play Hut. And as you can see we did purchase Bozak and Wyman. I wasn't able to show it because uh, for some reason my computer's just acting up and it uh, actually shut down. Uh, so this is after the first game but you can see the uh, roster. It's the same as if it was before the first game. And uh, so yeah, the only purchases before the first game were Bozak and Wideman. And as you can see, the first game ended up 4-0. Uh, he ended up raging and uh, left. And anyways, here the goal. First goal is Bozak from a nice pass from Kessel. Second goal, Mihalik got checked. Bozak would pick it up and give it right back to Mihalik to make it 2 nothing. Then Gosser would pick up the loose puck from the goalie uh, pass out to make it 3 nothing, And then finally Kessel in front. And it ended up being Bozak pouncing on the rebound to put it away. Then 650 pucks, we're going to pick up Jokinen. And uh, we're going to go into a game against Parkway Drive. He's got the Hershey Bears uh, logo as well as the uh, Hershey Bears jersey. And uh, so we'll get into uh, our first test because this guy had a pretty good team. And Myers, Cronwell, a couple good players. And uh, to start off here, it'd be Seidenberg with the puck. Giving it over to Kessel. Look at that passing play. And Mahalik would end up finishing it off. To make it one nothing. Later on here, it's going to be Kessel uh, picking up the loose, uh, picking up the puck at the boards off Cronwell, trying to take a slap shot, and he just takes a slap shot on his own and get himself a goal to make it two to nothing. Later on here, Kessel getting another chance to stop by Holsey, but uh, he's going to play it out. It's going to be uh, recovered by Bozak by a nice poke. Kessel's going to pick it up and just do a nice wrap around, get it past the goalie for a second of the game, and that would make it three to nothing. Later on here, uh, we're on the power play, time's ticking down. We're going to try passing it out. We're going to get checked. Uh, he's going to pick it up, feed it over to the front of the net, and Vanek pounces out of the rebound. Really weak goal there, given up by Nicholas Backstrom. But later on here, he's going to get a chance. It's going to be Wyden, Wideman with the interception. He's going to feed a little saucer pass over to Kessel. Look at his move by Kessel. Right around the player, and Mahalik, what a nice feed, and that would make it 4-1. to one. Later on here, a couple minutes, uh, midway through the third, Backstrom with a nice diving poke check off the uh, breakaway. Bozak's going to give it to Kessel. Kessel's going to make a nice move here, and then look at this move right around Markov. Beautiful double backhand past the goalie, makes it 5-1, to one. and Kessel is really turning up to uh, play uh, so far. It looks like a really good buy for uh, myself. And uh, later on, Jokin is going to get a nice pass from Caron and put away to make it 6-1. And then for good measure, he tries to be a little uh, bit weird here. Bozak ends up getting it. He gets tripped up on the breakaway, but finishes with the uh, backhand uh, roofed it there uh, on his knees to make it 7-1. to one. And that is how that game finishes. So a domination effort by our team there. Martinez ends up getting injured, but that's okay. We have a couple of replacement defensemen. 796 EA pucks from that one, and we move up to 6 points in Division 10. Uh, as you can see, domination on our, on our part. 9 to 10, nine two minutes to 2 minutes, and Kessel, Mihalik, and Bozak with the 3 start of the game. And uh, after the game, we're going to buy Justin Falk for uh, 800 by now. A solid defenseman, solid skating. Uh, should be a good addition to our team. We're going to play against Sword Swingers. He's got the uh, Blackhawks logo and jersey. It should be a good game here. I think he had a starter squad, so it might not be that hard uh, in Division 10. And uh, to start off here, it's going to be Bozak with the puck. He's going to give it to Seidenberg. Seidenberg over to Weidman. Weidman back to Seidenberg. Seidenberg makes a nice job to cut in. Takes a slap shot, and it goes right past the goalie to make it one nothing. Later on here, he's going to get a chance uh, with Sidliki to bring the puck in, but he's going to get stripped. It's going to be uh, Bozak chasing after it. He makes uh, tries to get it forward again. It's going to be Seidenberg with the interception right back to Kessel. Kessel walks in, gets past the defenseman, and puts it away to make it 2 nothing. shorthanded. Nice job by Phil Kessel again. Later on here, it's going to be uh, Latestu with the puck. He's going to give it over to Bozak. Bozak is through. A nice 1-2 with Latestu to uh, get the goal shorthanded once again. 3 to nothing, and uh, this guy's had enough, and he is going to rage quit. So another rage quit win there. I think our second of the series, and we're, we, we win that one 3 nothing. As you can see, Seidenberg, Kessel, and Bozak with the three goals uh, in that one. Later on here, we're going to pick up uh, Martin Havla, a solid player for us in Season 1, and uh, he should be good enough uh, to help us out in Season 2 as our second line right wing uh, for, the, for the time being. 1,250 EA pucks for him, and we're going to jump into this game. He's got the, uh, I think, Division 9 already. Yes, we are in Division 9. Kessel's going to start it off here with Puck making a nice move to get past a couple shoots. But Mihalik out of midair bats it. Nice goal there by Mihalik. Later on here is going to be Bozak with the Puck. He's going to make a little beautiful pass over to Kessel. Pass the defense. That'll make it 2 to nothing. Shorthanded once again. And then finally it's going to be Kondra bringing it in here. He's going to shoot. He's going to miss the net. But Kondra's going to get it. Uh, keep on cycling it over to Brennan. Brendan back down to Greening. Greening with a nice pass for the test. He puts it away to make it 3 0 with about 8 minutes left in the second. And this guy's had enough. We're going to get our second straight rage quit win uh, and a 3 1 3 0 victory at that one. 7, to one, seven minutes to t 1 minute time on attack. And then finally, for our last game of the uh, episode, it's going to be against Ghetto HC. 
And as you can see, he's got the uh, Dallas Stars logo. I think the old Edmonton Oilers jersey. And uh, we're going to start this off by Kessel uh, getting the puck. He's off to the races. He's going to beat one uh, defenseman. And now he's just going to snipe it. He looks like the defense was playing pass. And Kessel snipes it away to make it 1 0. Later on here, Fraser with the uh, pass over to Kessel. Kessel's got the puck. He tries a backhand. It's stopped. But he's going to come back the other way, make a nice deke, and find it 5 full past the goalie. And make it two to nothing. And then later on here, uh, still in the first period, it's going to be Bozak with the interception over to Kessel. Kessel's trying to make some kind of move. Hamhuis checks him, but Kessel gets the puck right back. Ends up making get past the defenseman and puts it away past the goalie to make it three to nothing for the natural hat trick for Kessel. And later on here, with about a couple seconds left in the first, I think he's just had enough. He's a little bit tired of my uh, passing, I guess. And uh, that's how it's going to end. So another three nothing rage win. Four minutes to 38 seconds time on attack and. Uh, Three straight rage wins in a row, all 3 nothing, and that is how it's going to end. So that's it for the games for this episode. As you can see, we're up to four points in Division 9, and hopefully we can make it to Division 8 in the next episode. So once again, let me know what you guys want to get. I know quite a bit of you guys said uh, to pick up Hagelin, Carl Hagelin, yeah. And, uh, well, the problem was there was actually, like, none on the market for buy now, and I was playing the games during that time. But uh, don't worry, I'll probably pick him up eventually. I know he has a, a crazy amount of speed, so that will be uh, something to help out for in the future. But anyways, let's take a look at our team leaders here. And as you can see, Kessel leads our team in points and goals, just dominating after 14 points, 9 goals. And this is all in 6 games. So uh, right now he's averaging like 2.33 something points per game. And Bozak got himself about 2 points per game uh, with 10 points. But he has 6 assists to lead our team in that category. So uh, Kessel and Bozak, kind of the butt buddies, uh, doing really well so far for our team. But uh, hopefully we could uh, improve on this uh, nice start and uh, keep going. And uh, keep going well into Division 8 all the way to Division 1. So once again, this is the end of episode number 2. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, please leave a like. It's always appreciated. And uh, with that, I'll see you guys later. Peace.